Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and it's now morning in Lake Hylia. Ah, <sighs> so peaceful, so very peaceful. I love this. It's all kind of foggy in that in the morning, like it would any other day. So let's go inside here. As well, we got a little bit of stuff left to do. None of it's that bad, honestly, so. Eh. In here, there's some kind of little thing of a jigs. Look at that. Like, claw shotting all over the place. That might come into play later, but there's really nothing too special to do with it. So, well, let's go over here. I think this is where I want to go. Yep, it is. So, claw shot goodbye. Can I reach from here? Oh, I can. Wow. Success. And I climb up. And, um... Where is it? Oh, wait. It's right here. Yeah, let's go inside. And of course you want to pull out your lantern. So, swish and swish. And of course a chest appears. I wonder what it could be. I wonder. No way, man. I had my money on an uku. Well, we got another piece of heart. So, let's get these. Rupees I can't have. Oh, no, it's five. I can use that. Don't be anything higher than 50. Okay, bombs. That works good. All right, well. Let's take a, let's take a look at my checklist real quick. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of posts in freaking uh, Lake Hylia. Well, it's daytime, so we can't get them anymore. No more of that day and night. However, there's a fun little mini game to be had, actually. Uh, wherever the hell that bird is. Let's see. Oh, well, first we want to leave here. Missed. There's some rocks down here. You can break them, but nothing special. Just some rupees. So, nothing really that rewarding from it. Figures I have to climb up on the other side of that. It just was. Blah. Oh, wait. Claw shot back, that's right. And pew. Oh, wait, I took a wrong turn. What am I doing? I totally looked at that map wrong. What an idiot. So, well, let's leave. Nothing left to do here, but we have a very fun and annoying minigame coming up next. Nice and foggy. Alright, well, let's go over here. Because there's a little bird we want to talk to. Remember him? Well, we can be a wolf now, so we're going to play his little reindeer game. Or eat him for dinner. Ah, <sighs> some good old pheasant. That sounds real good about now. We have bomb arrows. We can make it happen. Bomb arrows, the answer to all problems. Door stuck, blow it away. Someone steal your car, blow him away. Warning, please insure your car before you try that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I believe there's a Poe around here, too, when it's nighttime, but meh. I'm not waiting for that right now. As I said, I'll get him when I come, come across them. And hello, Mr. Bird. Hello, 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 I am Plum. I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake. Want to hear about it? Sure. This attraction is all about popping balloons as you move towards the goal. It's stupendous. The balloons are worth different amounts of points. One for watermelon, three for orange, ten for strawberry. So that's how they rank fruit nowadays. The strawberry takes the cake. That's why it's on so many cakes. Haha. -ha. And if you break the same amount of balloon twice in a row, you get double the points, but only up to ten times. If you hit a wall and fall off, then you get no points. That's right, zero points for you. Press B to start from overall in the beginning. You know how to get something neat if you get over 10,000 points, right? Not that you ever will. Well, game starts as soon as you land here, you little douchebag. I'm gonna get 10,000 points and I'm gonna eat you as my prize. How about that? Smart algae bird thinks he's so tough. 
Well, of course, the bird's gonna come pick us up, and it's gonna be another mini game. <sighs> this takes an awfully long time, honestly. We should skip this. But you can. Oh, you can. Nice. We've seen it before in the Twilight Realm. It's nothing special. However, this is. Just take all the time you need. Like, for now, we're starting off with oranges, but, well... Wait, this feels different than the last time I did it. Oh, wait, it's the other one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No the watermelons will go right for the strawberries. Well, actually, right now, go for the watermelons. But once you hit a strawberry, do not touch anything else. They're dead to you. Dead. See, right now, strawberry. And only the strawberry. So now everything else is now dead to us. Twenty. Forty. Eighty. One sixty and oh crap crap, I'm not gonna get that strawberry, I'll miss it. Not gonna risk it. Three twenty. High fives all around, guys. And well this one should be six forty, I think. 40. Bam. Damn it. Oh no, 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 no. Start over. Damn it. Uh, I was halfway there. Alright, let's try this again. I always seem to hit the wall in there, but I just want to get those strawberries. There's more than enough, but. Eh. You can get as high as you want, but I'm just gonna get over 10,000 for now, because you can play through as many times as you want. And the second time's like, high score challenge to see if you can beat your score. Well, now that we're near the strawberry, no pressing dash for me. I would not dare doing it here. It's not too bad on the Wii one, though. Look, I just went a different way. Might have. No, I didn't. Well, I'm still ignoring that strawberry. Still don't plan on risking it. This should be 640. If I did it alright. Yep. Now, just be very careful going in here. Balls did the exact same thing. Come on. Ugh. I'll probably show two more attempts and I'll just cut to finishing it. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad at these kind of games? Oh, I totally missed that one. It does not look like an orange in the slightest. It looks like a pumpkin. What the hell are they on? Thinking that's an orange. The watermelon's realistic, so is the strawberry, but that is not a freaking noise, that's a pumpkin. That is seriously a pumpkin. Or like a volleyball or something like that, but that is not an orange. If so, that is one buff genetically engineered orange. And farmers got it good there. Probably tastes like ass, though. Gonna go for it, gonna go for it. Oh, just barely missed it. Balls. Well, now we can get it, I'm sure. It's because I was too close to that one side, I know that. And because I clip it with the wing, then I just fall over. I'm just so afraid of touching that one side that I'll screw up. But don't you worry, it's fine now. No! Eh, I missed that one, oh well. I can live with that, I can live with that. We need like two more and we're done. Remember, only hit the strawberries. Everything else is dead. It is infected. See? We're done. Now we just need to survive. You can get as much points as you want, but honestly, it'll ask you to beat your high score the second time, so get as low as you possibly can. Or if you feel like doing it, post your highest score on this, just to see how high you can get. I think the highest I got was like 100,000. Like 50,000, something like that. But do it so I can beat your score next time I come here. Oh ha ha ha. That'll be fun. Well, we're done now. Hooray! Very easy. Only took me like four times.
Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> well, that bird must have had fun flying up here. What? No way! 10,242 points. He got more than 10,000 points. Well, here, take this. But don't think I'm giving you this because I like you or anything. Yeah, I don't like you either, so shut up and give me my prize bird. We got a piece of heart, but damn birds. It's always those damn birds. So you're completely hooked now, aren't you? You need to go again. Try to beat the high score, don't you? Not right now. I see. The only really thing I want to accomplish is getting up here via that damn game. Is there anything else I need? Oh, well, I suppose we need to go to Kakariko Village, but... Mm. Is there anything else we need to do here? I don't think there is. Uh, thinking about it, thinking about it. No, we're pretty much set. There are some poses here, but I just don't feel like waiting for them. So, let's go. Actually, no, I already had that heart piece of Kakariko. There's, um... I'm trying to think. Sorry, just give me a moment. Oh, I know where. I'm gonna go to Kakariko Gorge, which is like right up there. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. 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 And that cave is literally like right behind us, it's right over here. I hear a golden bug. No, that's the chain again, I'm just insane. Well, let's go back to being a human. This will be the last side questing thing I'll do after this, I'll just jump right into progress, because all I'm really getting is pulse holes after this. So, pew! Haha! Uh -huh. Our sword's so strong, we one-shot them, and I should really go back to being regular hero. So let's go inside. Unless, if you guys want me to, I can play most of the game with um, the Zora's tunic, because it is pretty awesome. No, we're Nero. I'm not against that, I have no problem doing it. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to need a yellow chew, probably. We'll see. Ignoring the Pope Baba. On you again. Here's the dead end. Oh, yellow chew, yellow chew. Perfect. Yay! Well, let's go back to having bombs because we'll need them, I'm sure. So let's keep running. Burn you down. Oh, there's a spider. I'm just gonna shoot it with a bomb arrow. Look at that. It just sends them flying. No chance at all. That's what I'm talking about. Ever scared of spiders? Just blow them away with a freaking bomb arrow. So I've had some people mention that, like in Skype and the comments, that, well, I won't lie, those spiders are pretty free. A big step up from the skull chill. It's like, holy crap. Although, I gotta give them props for thinking up something that creepy. They did pretty good with this game. Hello, keys. Ah, I can't hit them because of the wall. Ah. So, more walking up we go. Do 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 do. Break that. Do 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 do. Kill the keys. Keys. Burn. Aha, die, tech -tite. Not wasting my breath with you. Like the torch. Dead. Over here is a, a spider, I think. That's Boko Baba, whatever. That's Boko Baba, not afraid of them. Yeah, there's another spider. You're dead. See? Bomb arrows are your friend. Trust me, I'm pretty sure you'd blow up a real spider in, or a spider in real life if you could. But they're too small and the recoil damage would be way too bad. And I wouldn't recommend it. And we get nothing good. 
50 rupees, can't use it, full. Haha. Uh -huh. I knew that, yet I still went there. Oh well. Let's go up here. I think that other path actually had a pole, so I'll be back for that one. Oh no, the pole's up here. Hooray! I knew there was one in here. Bam! And your soul is mine. So, back to being Link. Pull out the lantern and let's keep going. Oh, uh, wait. Fire fixes it, not the sword. Bomb arrow. Missed. Oh, -ho, I just killed that keys with a bomb arrow. Okay, well, that was a lot of wasted effort, but I have no idea how I killed that keys with that bomb arrow, but that was just badass. Ironically, I don't think I hurt myself either, just from the keys hitting me. But hell, I'll take it. Sure, why not? And we get another piece of heart. Two more until we have 11 hearts. Good stuff. So let's backtrack to that other place just to explore the full cave. Because, you know, exploration is totally key. Not really, but what the hell, there might be something up there. I highly doubt there is. Oh, there's rats. An arrow. Nice. Well, we're pretty much done here, so let's leave. Turn off the torch, just because, well, we've wasted enough lantern oil as is. And just walk out. Ironically, I can actually see in this dark, just because of my TV's brightness and that, because, well, I've turned the settings to vivid so everything looks so colorful. It's beautiful when you play Eternal Sonata. Anything else we need? Uh, I think I missed a puzzle. Oh, wait, no, no, that's on that ledge. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> oh, I know. Where? One more piece of heart we want to get in this episode. It's over there, isn't it? Um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll meet you over there. We gotta do a long, long, long walk. I'll just meet you over there. We're going up um, by the broken bridge. And we got the male butterfly. Nice. Totally forgot that we didn't got this guy, but we got him now, so hooray. So again, yeah, I'll meet you back where we're supposed to go. This is not it. I'm just taking a turn. Rather wrong, turn it out with Kirby, so hooray! Wow, I totally knew I left a Pona here. Well, might as well grab him. Well, that was cheap. We got a lot of bites in on him. Well, he's dead. I decided I'll show some travel time, because, well, might as well. Plus, I just went to go get a Pona, which I knew was all the way over here. And for once, I actually traveled as a wolf. More efficient. So let's just go over here, because it's just another cave. Yeah, it might be a little bit longer episode again, I'm sorry, but you know. Just some side questing stuff. My problem's in the next episode, we'll jump into some action. So let's keep running. I keep running and running and running. I have no idea what I'm trying to sing. And oh crap, that thing hit me really good. That was a nice shot. Oh god. Now I'm gonna get knocked off. There we go. And the colors went all trippy for a second because I just went to nighttime and being all stormy. I think. Something like that. Oh, well, let's keep going. The colors feel so right. Oh, ho, ho, that was like ninja dodging right there. Or just pro skittles, if anything, because that was just a badass. Like, ka ching well, if you can't tell by now, I'm impressed at how awesome I dodged that arrow. Ha ha ha. Well, now that we're here, let's get off opponent. And get our claw shot, because we need that. Bomb arrows are staying equipped because they're my friend. Upsy daisies. Down we go. And I almost rolled off that hill. And we already got this golden bug up there. Did we? No, let's find out. There we go. Yeah, I already caught him. Oh, it's a female Phasmid, whatever. Yeah. 
Into the cave we go! Welcome to the Goron Mines! <laughs> well, not really, but close enough. We have another Goron esque mine place, but. What the hell is the volcano doing all the way over here? I have no idea, but we'll just enjoy the scenery. Ah, nice and bacon. Like we always wanted, so we're gonna ignore them. There's no point in even like giving them the time of day. We Wasn't there a chest back there? No, there's not. Sorry, I'm just being delusional. Let's jump off right, and we fall down. Get out our lantern. Oops. And there we go. Yeah, it's orange rupees. We can't use them. I thought I'd just show off this chest. You know, the heart piece is up ahead. Literally right here. Ah, you died. And there we go. Voila! One more piece of heart and we're set. So, hooray for that and let's leave. Yeah, we wind up all the way over here, so... We gotta claw shot our way back. Swing, swish. Pretty cool how you don't notice like these cliffs are down here until you actually go there. At least I didn't. Well, you can't really see them that well, so it wouldn't matter. It's like not like you can just jump over. You might be able to for one or two of them, but not all of them, I don't think. No. So we just jump, and we're done. Cool. But anyways, we're also out of time. So next time, well, let's play Twilight Princess. We will go get some progress done, so have a good day!